Quiet Minutes, sponsored by Sinkler Heating and Cooling, for 24-7 comfort on call. Well, hello, Brad. Nice to see you again. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Chris, I have a question for you and for everybody at home. Put on your thinking caps. Wait, no one told me there'd be a quiz when I got back. This is an easy one. Okay. What is the most commonly farmed species in the world? The answer is the chicken. Oh. It is the chicken. And that's what today's story is about. It comes from a study out of Australia. All okay? right. Cross species communication. Humans crack the chicken clucking code. And now, I just thought it was noise. I didn't even know it was a code. Well, let's learn more about this okay. because it's really interesting. And there are some interesting implications as well. So in the study, they used recordings of chickens vocalizing in different scenarios. Like there were some calls that they produced in anticipation of a reward. And then there were some calls that were produced in non-reward contexts, such as food being withheld, okay? You, you can understand sure. there would be different responses from the bird. So in the study, it was an online survey. 194 people voluntarily okay. took part. Here are some of the demographics. 76% were female, the others not, obviously. 52% were from Europe, 23% from the Australia area, 3% North America, 4% South America, 2% from Africa, 30% lived in an urban setting, 30% rural setting, 40% suburban areas. And there was more. They also asked them, do you currently or have you ever kept chickens? And do you have any pets? Okay. okay. So this was the basis of the people involved in the study. So before they began, the participants were informed, this is a study that is investigating how people perceive information from animal vocalization. So they knew what they were getting sure. into, okay? So here's what they had to do next. They listened to 16 individual chicken sounds that were presented in a random order, and then they had to rate each sound according to the level of emotional properties and level of excitement <laughs> they thought the chickens were experiencing. They had to channel chickens. E essentially, okay. yes. But right. here was the surprising finding. Actually, 69% of all participants could correctly tell if a chicken sounded excited or displeased. 69%, Chris, okay. that's almost three quarters. Sure. Here's what the researcher says. This is a remarkable result and further strengthens evidence that humans have the ability to perceive the emotional context of vocalizations made from different species. Think this through. There needs to be more studies with maybe other farm animals, okay. pigs, cattle, horses, because what if there is actually a connection between humans and these other species in vocalization? Oh. As far as if you're excited, you talk a little bit faster, you raise your voice. We, usually you know, we do. There might be similarities. He said also another uh, thing that you could do. I, yes. Ahead. Well, you could use AI with microphones in large ah. settings to listen for birds in distress, sure. and then you could give them the comfort or whatever they need. Okay. What I, you? I can see it. Well, I can see the similarities because I too whine when food is withheld from me. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, I do. All right, We've Brad. all seen you in the break room. <laughs> Brad, thanks so much. See you again tomorrow. Still the